Hello, welcome back. Today we're gonna take a look at another Fire Pro video cards. Apparently, I'm getting better on getting them because, uh, yes, uh, this is a very interesting subject when it comes to uh, gaming or working. Doesn't matter. Finding the right GPU, finding the um, Kika system, finding something about something cheap that is good for you and nobody knows. So in this case, today, we're going to test and see how the Fire Pro W8000 is working. Apparently, the software that I'm using, FPS Monitor, detects it as a W8000 or an alternative to S10,000. Actually, I have the S10,000, but it's a dual-core GPU and it only works in one core. Nevertheless, in the near future, I will bring it back because that's an interesting video card. And maybe one day I will find something that I can use aside mining. <laughs> from that S10,000 and I'm gonna use it properly you know who knows who knows who knows who knows yes I put the fan here I press ok but first I put the microphone as close as possible in that direction there is still nearly two meters from the microphone and the computer yeah By the way, today's uh, guess the GPU, you know, it was uh, Mutant. He managed to um, guess the GPU. It was IMD Fire Pro W9000. So, uh, freaking awesome because uh, he knows the GPUs. <laughs> I don't think he's got it, but I'm thinking he wants the GPU and he knows it. <laughs> All right, we are in like Flynn. Yes, if I remember correctly, we are on 1080p. 1080p, 100% render scale, and performance mode. We're gonna jump in and see how the game is performing with the settings. S9000, S10000. Oof. Wish I can put my hands on, on a video card like that. I wanna put now the S10000 back in the computer now. I don't know where it is, seriously. All right, it doesn't matter. I didn't put uh, the fan on uh, on my speed because I let, I let the GPU do its own thing, seriously. You heard the fan, yeah? So ideal will be to not not reach that moment when I need to use the blower because I can't hear nothing after. Do our own thing here with this video card because uh, I'm so fucking happy because I got such a cool video card. By mistake, by mistake, this is by mistake, you understand? Damn, that was easy. Why did you do that? All right, we're friends now, yeah? Still didn't manage to reach 100% uh, load. That's actually the best thing I can see from this video card. Look, see, sometimes it goes like hundreds of FPS. All right, let's try GTA 5. I think uh, I think we all agree that uh, this video card can do the job. No, without VSync, of course. We don't want VSync. And I'm going to leave exactly how the game managed to decide it's good for this video card. I don't know why he said this, DirectX 11, but uh, I'm going to keep it. DirectX 11, FXA, oh my god, let's see what he did. Population density, maximum, population variety, maximum, distance scaling, texture very high, shaders quality high, high, uh, reflection quality very high, reflection MSA a, uh, off. Interesting. I want to see how it's uh, performing like this. Seriously. Don't forget, I'm with the i9. And uh, I know that CPU is going to help this uh, video card. But uh, let's see how much. <laughs> <laughs> All right. i9 CPU load 4%. <laughs> <laughs> GPU load 99%. Who am I to complain if it looks gorgeous? <laughs> if it gives me 60 FPS, I don't care. Listen. In order to test the GPU, yeah, we have to take something manly, yeah? You understand? <laughs> Let's take the Bobcat and give it a run through the city. You know, see if we can find that car again. I didn't want to hit you, I swear. Popularity, density and stuff. This is what it means to put high details and... I don't want that, I want empty streets, normal. Oh yes, the yellow one. Okay, yellow one, I think it's 14,000 compared to the blue one that is 17,000, yeah, from yesterday, last time we did that. The yellow one is you, you know, it's sellable, but I don't think it's 17, it's 12 or something. Only. 
With this occasion, we can uh, actually see how this uh, beautiful monster is working. Hopefully, we don't scratch the car. And we can uh, uh, appreciate that it's uh, only 71 degrees. Hmm. I'm afraid about this temperature, you know. If it up to me, I will put it to 100% uh, fan, you know, and just uh, stick it outside the window <laughs> in the computer. <laughs> let uh, let b bother some animals outside, you know, like that fan here. So I can sell it with $14,000. Beautiful, no beautiful. I freaking love how it looks. Second, I love how it performed despite it being on 99%, you know, so I will definitely switch it to DirectX 10 so I can uh, benefit from this video card on, on lower details so I don't overheat it because I'm 100% sure on this performance the video card is eat, eating a lot of wattage, you know, so it's got high wattage consumption. So I don't want that, you know, it, it runs cool, it looks cool, but uh, today I have to take care of my electricity. <laughs> and this video card, it's something that uh, doesn't care. <laughs> it's huge, it's loud, <laughs> and it runs okay, you know. It's decent. <laughs> yeah, 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 that's what she said. Do you know who's playing GTA 5 today? Those people who cannot play Warzone 2. <laughs> oh my god, I have a Land Rover. A Land Rover. No, I want this one. Give me the car. 63 PSC. Dude, the GPU is holding. Give me the f car. Give me the... You only can spin a Matanku. Let's play God of War and uh, see what settings I have from last time. And I think we can uh, adjust a couple of things more, you know, because I um, think I have some VRAM left, you know, so... Borderless, uh, it's on. Minimize the background. No ultra performance. We're going to take everything off from here and we're going to keep 100% render scale so we can start from zero. Yes. So maybe it fills up the VRAM and... Uh, can have some fun. Obviously, that frame time looks like an oscilloscope measuring alternate current. Seriously. Okay, so 33. Wait, how much? Come on, average, average. 33 FPS on average. It, it feels okay. It looks good, but it's not okay. You know, it's... Uh, no. So if, if you play, it feels very janky, you know, because of that frame time. It feels very... Nice. Wow, that was really nice. Nice combination, everything was good, but uh, it feels like uh, I'm not in 2022 with those FPS. You're f***ing ugly. You look like a flying sperm. Alright, 30 FPS. It feels like dog. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. It's new, look, it's 3.1 gig, 3.1 uh, gig uh, of VRAM. And the GPU is 73%, 73 degrees. So it's, um, yeah, it's doing the job, but I don't want like this, you understand? So what I can do is uh, uh, go into the graphics, uh, try to see if I can put, I'm curious, just what you mean, what happens if I put it on Ultra? 3.8 gig of VRAM. Okay, it's maxing the VRAM. That's actually good. Interesting. But it's still the same frame, uh, still the same uh, f frame, FPS. Actually, it's lower and the frame time is higher. Okay, so I keep it here with maximum details. And I go in render scale. Yeah, going to render scale. And I'm going to put it on 50% render scale. And we're going to leave the Ultra because then it's going to use the VRAM more, you know? So, let's see. 30 FPS. <laughs> Doesn't work. No, 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 no. No, let's put it on low detail. No, 40. See, it became more fluent. All right. I like it like this. See, 40, 50 FPS. This is my frame time. Looks fantastic. It runs okay on 50% uh, render scale uh, with uh, low details. It gives you as an FPS that is 
in the satisfaction range you understand now let, wait because we have some uh, display and we got the fsr 2.0 so we're gonna take ultra performance sharpening render scales off and sharpening zero so we're gonna we'll take ultra performance because i want to see how it looks and how it's doing the job versus the render scale no it looks and it runs more horrible i got higher frame time and lower fps so fsr2 and this option is not okay that render scale did wonders compared to this fsr nope 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 let's take the boat and uh, go to the point you know and see how it looks the water so i have to stop in order to see how the model is you understand if not it looks very blurry and edgy I, I, I don't like it seriously i don't like it so let me put it back and slow show you because what i'm not yeah off and put render scale to 50 yeah it looks better and i got better fps Thank you, God of War. Apparently, we have a small chance with this video card to play it on 40, 50 FPS, 43 average. So I'm not going to say no with this uh, video card. I'm just going to say, just in case you don't have another option, it's okay. Wait, let me explain. There is a high chance we can actually play Cyberpunk with this video card. Yes, it's the same thing like with God of War. Yes, so if I go in video settings, I have 1080p graphics, custom of DLSA. I don't have ultra performance. Let's start with zero. Yeah, ultra performance, motion blur off, everything is on minimal 1080p, no render modification. Yeah, and if you could take uh take a ride yeah and see how the gpu is performing it's doing great 28 let's average it because we have to take a ride uh, to the city until we can uh, uh, average the fps 26 average with cyberpunk on low details you understand so the cpu doesn't do nothing because it's uh, an overkill for this video card you know we wish you had better uh, better gpu you know instead of wasting money here so if you want to balance the system you have to invest more in the gpu not in the cpu in the city where everything i think is populated a lot you know let's check around uh, gameplay crowd density high see so it's, it's if i put it on low if they all disappear Theoretically, it needs to be much better. You gain some FPS if you put the density of the people on low. Yeah, I see 40 already. You know, just putting the density on low. You know, but the density uh, gives it a more vibrant city. You know, you, you, you feel like you're in a normal city and uh, you're not alone. You really need a proper video card for this game, do you? Seriously, without the LSS, you're caca. Can't wait to put that 2016 my PC. So on uh, video, let's see, 900, 720p. Let's take 720p, still crap. 720p, 40 FPS. See, if you can average that FPS, I, I, I will uh, recommend you. This is, this is what I was expecting. I'm not joking. Hey, out in the desert. Okay, 720p, take this ugly overlay uh, out, you know, arrange some uh, details there and that's it. You're nearly there with the, with, with the video card. But I'm actually surprised, 11 gig of system RAM for this, uh, for this. Wow, tomorrow I need 32 gig of system RAM in order to play some games. All right, maybe it's working, you know, maybe, maybe it's working. <laughs> See how, we, how we're doing. Um, uh, Fire Pro W8000, fantastic, automatic, V-Sync off, uh, render scale 69, awesome, and everything is on, on low details, yes? Oh my god, this is so insane, uh, it's fully loaded, the GPU. The GPU is fully loaded, but uh, the VRAM is not, it's not complete. Oh, was he, he fall, doesn't matter, doesn't matter. The, the, the VRAM doesn't help the GPU, seriously. The core is a bit slow and I'm thinking to max out the fan, <laughs> to, to boost the fan a little and just give it like 100 megahertz on the core because that's the only thing it needs, seriously. The VRAM is not... 
it's not fully loaded seriously okay let's see how we can do with the other settings apparently there's a lot of things that i want to try so for instance upscaling and there is no end with the intel x let's try see if in, uh, intel 6 can do something performance apply the settings intel 6 doesn't crash with my w8000 Wow. I think I bugged this. Ten FPS. I don't think how it is I don't think this is how it needs to work, no? One hundred frame time. Nope, that's not how it needs to be. <laughs> Okay. Right. MD FSR. Ultra quality. Let's let's try performance per first, yeah. 63. Oh yeah. Yes! Shot the kill, shot the kill, shot the kill. Oh, oh I don't care. 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 I don't care, I don't care. You take the kill. I got FSR. It's oh my god, the FSR is doing so well. So let's see fidelity fidelity uh, FX cuts. Yes, this is let's put around eleven. Alright, sixty FPS. Tona, everybody's got something something cool only me not so words on two on 50 percent render scale the gpu is still over 50 fps the cpu doesn't do nothing you know but the system ram is fully loaded and that's a bit interesting because it's a bit interesting because in the future uh yeah i think with the I think with the proper uh, proper GPU, the CPU would be fully loaded too. So, yeah, I I think that's the 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 trick, you know here. So 50% it's uh, it's okay, but it's under 60 FPS, so it's kind of weird to actually see that. What we can do is put FSR 1.1 and put it on performance mode and see how this is working. We're doing 45 FPS, exactly God of War. Uh, cyberpunk and everything you know okay so in order to play the game my opinion for this video card will be off and put maybe 45 percent render scale like this and maybe instead of uh, this i would put maybe 10 50 or something and put it like this it's kind of doggo but it gives me good fps this would be my my settings seriously nice warzone you're awesome thank you for having us with the, this magnificent gpu because it's a very old GPU video card and apparently you get, allow us to get 50 60 fps after seeing the gpu how it's performing in a couple of games i decided that, that uh, this is an awesome video card <laughs> this is regarding the fact that it was a ton of money when it was launched you know if you, if if you manage to get one for uh, uh, wanted to say for free <laughs> if you manage to get one very cheap it's worth it just to have it as a door doorstop or a heat uh, room heater because i think it's making a lot of heat if you don't um, uh, max out the fan you know if you don't cool it but aside from that we you can play some games but it needs to be how should I say? It needs to be something in DirectX 11 because that's the uh, that's the generation of games that he likes. You can start the DirectX 12 games, but you can reach more than 40, 50 FPS. So you can actually see it, but yeah, you just, that's it. <laughs> if I wanted to play Fortnite with DirectX 12, it would have been a massacre for the G GPU. But on DirectX 11 with performance mode, with performance mode, it was fantastic. I give it a thumbs up for this GPU because it's 
Awesome. You understand? So I don't know what you think about this 2012 video card, but leave a comment and tell me your opinion about this video card.